everybody, welcome to my channel, Living the Red Dot. This is May from Singapore. Today I have for you a perfume from Clean. Um, it's called, actually it's from the line of Clean Reserve and this one is called Suede Oud. Right here, it's an Eau de Parfum and if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. <music> So Clean is known for having perfumes that are very soft, um, kind of laundry-like, very calming, um, and almost kind of like typical things, pretty things that you smell um, around you. So um, they have the main Clean line where they have like, you know, the original Clean, fresh laundry, warm linen, warm cotton, cool cotton, um, all that. Uh, out of that line, I only have, I think, warm cotton, which I haven't reviewed yet and I don't really wear it much often. Um, and then they have this special line, um, Clean Reserve, uh, which come in these recyclable bottles, I believe, so they're good for the environment. The cap is made of wood, um, although there is plastic here, but very recyclable um, according to the company. This, along with the other scents in this line, um, I think they have others called like Rain, um, I don't know, some kind of floral stuff. So I think you could buy them in a small set and they're meant to be mixed and match like kind of you know niche perfume make make your own type of perfume uh i i have not seen that set um here in singapore at least not lately um maybe back then it was available but i haven't seen anyone um selling it here lately but I was intrigued by this one that's being sold on the online marketplace here. It's used. Um, it's called Suede Oud. I'm not really very familiar with Oud and I don't think it's something that I would gravitate to, at least from the minimal information that I know from it. I, I may have encountered it in other perfumes, but it may not be be the highlighted note uh, maybe it's just in the background like I do like incense so you know it, oud is supposed to have that kind of earthy smoky type of like feel to it so yeah I have tried Maison Francis Curtijan's suede not suede oud I'm sorry um, oud satin mood and not my favorite um, yeah, I have a decant of that, so if you're interested, I could review that uh, for you. So back to this suede oud. Suede, I like leather. Uh, I have a review where I talked about the whole Bottega Veneta line, which featured leather in it, because after all, Bottega Veneta is a house that specializes in leather. So. That's why this interested me. Now smelling this, or buying it actually, I have no idea what to expect, but the first time I smelled it and sprayed it, I thought it smelled very much like Molecule O2, um, this bottle right here, which is pretty much pure Ambroxan. Um, Ambroxan is also very prominent in the perfume Maison Francis Rouge, uh, Maison Francis Cortijan Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum. So yeah, so when I sprayed it, all I could smell was Ambroxan. And I was really confused because I expected something more leathery. Um, apparently not, but that doesn't mean it wasn't interesting. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It is 
very unisex. So molecule molecule O2 basically is just one node, one molecule, ambroxan. This is slightly more complex, although I smell um, ambroxan in it, there are other things going on in the background that I couldn't quite pinpoint. It smells smoky-ish, like, you know, when you burn wood and like kind of the fading trail of the, the smoke, I, I s smell or get that sense. But at the same time, it feels and smells clean. There is also, to my nose, a slight salty-ish note in it. Um, it's not sweet at all. I don't sense any sweetness. Um, that's why I think it could lean quite masculine, but because it's clean and fresh, you know, it could be feminine as well. It's musky. I smell musk in it. So I would actually think it's quite quietly sultry. So this, this is, yeah, I would it's available in stores, that's for sure. So I would recommend uh, trying it out. I would have tried it in the store first at Sephora, but lately because of COVID-19, they don't allow you to test the perfumes. They don't even allow you to spray it on a paper tester. So I just kind of jumped in there and blind bought this one. And I don't regret it um, because I don't have anything like it. Uh, if you like... Um, Ambroxan, if you're familiar with the smell of Ambroxan, um, I would suggest uh, try this one. Or if you like clean, masculine-ish perfumes, masculine musky perfumes, then give this one a try as well. Yeah, it's really interesting. Sometimes I, it gives me the, the feeling that it's kind of like Fresh drying laundry, but s smoke is slightly kind of like flowing towards your fresh laundry, uh, but it doesn't stink. It still smells like fresh laundry with a bit of smokiness to it. So like I said, it's very hard to explain. Um, people say it is woodsy. I think I get the woodsiness, but you know what? Like I'm only picking up the woodsiness in Baccarat Rouge 540, so maybe my nose is really new to the woodsy note in um, in Ambroxan. But yeah, this is very very interesting. I would suggest um, you know giving it a try. You might just be surprised. Okay, so if um, this review is um, something that you liked. Uh, please press like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!